What's going on everybody? You already know who it is. It is your boy that guy, the dryer nude here. And man, we're just getting bombshells after bombshells dropped on us when it comes to Modern Warfare 3. And man, I, I you know, I, it's launch week, guys. It's launch week. And before we get into today's video on the topics, I know a lot of people are asking, yo, new, why is your uh, controller like popping up in the top right, even though you're playing on mouse and keyboard? Guys, I keep my controller plugged in, and sometimes whenever there's like a little bit of stick drift, it tells me to switch over. So, no, I'm not using like any software or anything like that. It's just because my controller is plugged in and there's a little bit of stick drift on it. And every time that it moves, it activates when I have it plugged into my PC. The next gameplay you're going to see is me playing Modern warfare 3 on controller this is from the beta of course but, but we got so much information for the past couple of uh days regarding modern warfare 3 and i, I i'm gonna have to kind of hide my excitement because i i'm a little bit excited excited for this game I'm, I'm not gonna lie from all the information that we're hearing it's almost too good to be true when it comes to the camo challenges they just uh they just dropped the blog post today describing the all the Modern Warfare 3 camos and the Modern Warfare 2 camo integration. So basically, just long story short, they are going to have it to where your Modern Warfare 2 camos transfer over the base camos and you can use them on Modern Warfare 3 uh, guns. So anything that you have in the fun category, uh, any of your base camos, they're going to uh, have them. So that's going to be awesome cool uh mastery camos they do not transfer over all the perks and everything like it really looks like we have player choice this year if you're a rusher you can you know really cater to your play style if, if you're a camper if wh whatever play style you have it looks like they support that this year and that's going to be absolutely amazing i literally cannot wait because just diving in new game to grind and uh just having fun with the game old maps and rumored uh maps to return and i, I just want to address something real quick um a lot of people are, are saying and myself included at some point in time man this just looks like a dlc from modern warfare 2. yes and no it just seems like an upgraded modern warfare 2 and you know i am completely fine with that i have movement i have dead silence you know the weapon sway, the gun, the recoils and everything, it, it seems like it's working out just fine, like there's not that much. So I'm okay with that. And literally everything they're doing is something that we asked for years ago. And I just want to like get this concept like behind, like run it past you guys. We get the same guns almost every Call of Duty, right? I, I noticed the weapons, uh, this for Modern Warfare 3, we don't have an AK. And why would we when we can use the AK for Modern Warfare 2? I, I liken it to like Black Ops uh, Cold War AK and Modern Warfare 2019's AK. You know, we had that. There are two different AKs. There's no need for that. Like all the guns that we have, like they're just reskin, reimagined guns. So why, you know, try to make it something new? I can completely understand that. And just all the weapons, all the camos, everything we have to go for this year, all the streaks, all the equipment, all the perks, man. And like it, it, there's just so much it's almost overwhelming and it looks like they're trying to make call of duty into a universe where all of the games are in, like connected and intertwined and that's literally what we wanted we were sick and tired of you know grinding the same thing every year and i think that's you know completely fine that they reinvented the wheel and they completely changed everything how it's just basically an upgrade and like i said i'm okay with that right we got a campaign we got zombies albeit the campaign i would give it a rating like a four out of six because i just think or four out of ten because it was just really boring i don't really don't care about the campaign i really care about the replayability for multiplayer for zombies and for warzone that's all i really care about and it's it, it excites me that my call of duty modern warfare 3 is showing love sledgehammer games is showing love to modern warfare 3 multiplayer and that just makes me so excited because it seems like we were on the back burner for so long ever since warzone started to take over everybody was playing warzone but so many people still love modern warfare 3 or call of duty multiplayer and i love it too and i know a lot of people still love it and still play it a lot of people don't like brs a lot of people like the traditional 6v6 map and it seems like we were on the back burner for so long. And it seems like this year we're finally getting some love to multiplayer. And I cannot wait to play 
launch week is this week i'm gonna be streaming it over on twitch.tv forward slash the dryer newt guys go follow me over there also follow me over on twitter for the latest updates and news uh it's just the dryer newt over at twitter or i guess x now i'm super excited we're now four days away man four days super excited can't wait to get on the grind so you're really curious to hear what you guys think about all this news and information <laughs> excuse me i still got this cough Bro, how is this daily guy getting like i just want to say that this year i'm gonna be playing on mouse and keyboard and i'm gonna be playing on controller that's just it i don't care too much anymore my pride has gotten in the way of oh i'm just a hardcore mouse and keyboard player I, I really don't care. I'm gonna be playing Warzone on on uh, controller, and I'm gonna be playing multiplayer on mouse and keyboard because that's just how it is. Guys, that's it for this video. Always remember to stay blessed and stay humble. Super curious to hear your thoughts. Peace.